Although ancient Egypt is long gone, researchers continue to unearth its riches. One of history's greatest civilizations thrived for almost 3,000 years along the Nile River in Northeast Africa. The ancient civilization's glories were buried behind layers of these many civilizations as Egypt fell under Greek, Roman, and eventually Muslim authority only to resurface centuries later as archaeologists and historians adopted the subject known as Egyptology. With its ancient pyramids, mummified pharaohs, and ancient civilization, Egypt has long been a source of mystique. A fresh finding, on the other hand, may force a rewrite of its past. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about a new discovery made by archaeologists in Saqqara, Egypt. What do you think this discovery is all about? What kind of artifacts have archaeologists discovered? Is this another mummy or what? Curious to know more? Let's jump into the video to answer these questions. Ancient Egyptian dynasties buried its aristocracy beneath the desert sand for thousands of years. They frequently surround them with valuables and trinkets so that they can take them into the afterlife. The necropolis of Memphis, some 15 miles southwest of Cairo, was the site of the ancient city's graves. The archaeological site of Saqqara is where they buried their dead, and the tremendous extent of the ancient city of the dead is still being revealed. The site runs along the edge of the desert plateau and is approximately 5 miles long. It borders Dashur to the south and Abu Sur to the north. In 1979, the ancient ruins of the Memphis area, including Saqqara, Abu Sur, Dashur, Abu Ruaish, and the Pyramids of Giza were collectively designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. More than 250 sarcophagi, 150 bronze sculptures, and a variety of other artifacts were recovered from the site this week, according to experts from Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. According to the experts, the surprisingly well-preserved artifacts in the necropolis are still in good and occasionally colorful condition. Bronze sculptures of ancient Egyptian gods such as Anubis, Osiris, Nefertem, Isis, and 40 wooden coffins with mummies sealed inside are among the finds. Excavation director Muhammad Al Saidi told CBS News Ahmed Shaukat, We found two lovely wooden figurines with gilded faces of the goddesses Isis and Nephthys, designated the defenders of the coffin. They sat, one by the head and the other by the feet, in a position known as the mourners or weepers for the departed. Another discovery at the site may give even more information about ancient Egyptian burial customs. The crew discovered a papyrus scroll estimated to be up to 30 feet long inside the coffin, protected by Isis and Nephthys. It might contain elements of the Book of the Dead, a compilation of ancient Egyptian literature loaded with spells and formulae thought to safeguard the departed in the afterlife. The Egyptian Museum's lab has received the scroll. Despite the fact that the finds are thousands of years old, several are in superb shape and even retain their paint and gilding. Though a little scuffed, these figures don't appear their age, says George Dvorsky of Gizmodo. These artifacts were produced roughly 2,500 years ago. Because of the numerous sculptures of the ancient Egyptian cat goddess Bast unearthed there, the cemetery where the coffins and statues were discovered was initially called after her. The site was dubbed the Cemetery of Sacred Animals in 2019 due to the continuing discovery of sculptures of additional gods and mummified animals. According to Al Saidi, the latest finds prove that the temple wasn't just for cats but also for other Egyptian deities. According to the Associated Journalists, Egyptian antiquity officials allowed the press to have a close look at the countless objects at a pop-up show near the foot of the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser. Isn't this discovery a fascinating one? What do you think about it? In case you are new to the channel, then kindly press the bell icon and share this video with your loved ones. Coming back to the main topic. According to Rachel Panett of the Washington Post, the finds will eventually be moved to the Grand Egyptian Museum in Cairo when it opens in November. According to the Washington Post, Egypt's government believes that the discoveries would resurrect the country's tourist industry, which has been battered by political turmoil, pandemic-related travel restrictions, and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Egyptian tourists from Ukraine and Russia account for a considerable percentage of the country's annual visitors. 
However, Saqqara may have what it takes to entice travelers interested in Egypt's past. According to Joe Marchant of Smithsonian Magazine, the necropolis is unlike other ancient Egyptian aristocracy burial places. Other cemeteries may include elaborate, vast graves for individuals or families. Saqqara, on the other hand, is known for its mega-tombs, which are filled with hundreds of pricey coffins. While the site's findings span 3,000 years, from the period of the earliest pharaohs to the Roman conquest of Egypt, the majority of the sarcophagi discovered date from ancient Egypt's late period, which lasted from 522 to 322 BCE. Egypt was mostly occupied by the Persians during that time. Despite the fact that the occupied people's culture prospered under the Persians, who appreciated Egyptian traditions, arts, and religion, the era was marked by a battle for Egyptian sovereignty. According to the Smithsonian, communal graves had been a prevalent burial practice by that time, prompted by political unrest about 1000 BCE. Saqqara was already well known at the time as the site of Egypt's oldest pyramid, the Step Pyramid of Djoser, which was built some 4,700 years ago. The place was already ancient and linked with the gods and the divine by the late period. Ancient Egyptian nobles would have lusted after a burial site near the afterlife's deities. Saqqara is today known for something else, its seemingly endless archaeological treasures. According to CBS, more than 450 sarcophagi have been unearthed thus far, with many more to come. Only 300 feet of the quarter-mile-long site has been excavated so far. According to Smithsonian's Marchant, archaeologists discovered another hoard of over 100 sarcophagi in November 2020. Funerary masks and figurines of deceased deities were among the items discovered. Salima Ikram, a Saqqara archaeologist, told Smithsonian at the time that uncovering such a treasure in an untouched late-period tomb was extremely significant. Though Campbell Price, curator of Egypt and Sudan at the Manchester Museum in the United Kingdom, added that the sarcophagi were lots more of what we already have. Though the objects are identical, their vast abundance compensates for their lack of variation. And considering how much ground archaeologists still have to cover, these discoveries are likely only the beginning. Although the dead of Saqqara have been inactive for millennia, their ultimate resting place is gradually revealing its secrets. Egypt never fails to surprise us with its discoveries. You never know what we discover from Egypt in the future. What do you think about the ancient site of Saqqara? What do you think will be the next discovery? Do let us know about your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you loved it and it probably increased your knowledge regarding the ancient site. For more videos like this, you can visit the channel. If you loved the video, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel. Don't be afraid to give suggestions in the comment section regarding any future videos you want to see.